Hey guys, it's Richard from Fret Junkies and we are back. Um, in this video we are going to be talking paddleboard, paddleboard order and tone in general. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions recently uh, through Instagram, Messenger, etc. Uh, about my paddleboard order and maybe doing a video on paddleboard. I always kind of cringe at this if I'm honest, um, just because, yeah, I don't know if it feels a bit like egocentrical, if that's the word, or egotistical even. <laughs> um, but we're going to go into it anyway. Um, and that, what you just heard, was me playing from a board. Um, I'm, I'm loving my board at the minute. I've gone through years and years and years of pedals to get to this point to where I'm kind of thinking, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm very happy. I mean, that's subject to change, but I am really been a paddleboard guy for a, for a good while now, for a year. I've just been probably concentrating on my playing. Um, but now I'm bringing pedals back in and only the pedals that I see that I need. Um, you know, not having four drives on the board or six fuzzes or something like that. That's cool, man. That's, I'm not shooting that down, but I'm, I'm talking about what works for me. My bass tone is the most important tone. And that is your most important tone. If your bass tone is, is terrible and you're putting a 600 pound fuzz through it and wondering why it isn't sounding good, look at your bass tone, you know? It's so important. Uh, which leads me on to the next point, volume. Volume is massive. Um, I couldn't play without volume now. And what I mean by that, I don't necessarily mean volume big in the room. I mean an attenuator. You have to get your power tubes cooking. You have to get every, all your, you have to get your amp working properly. And the only way your amp will work properly is with volume. <laughs> So you've got to find your way around that because not everybody can have the volume. So get yourself a good attenuator and that solves it and it gets the amp working where it needs to be. You've got a bit of grit in your signal at your base and then add your layers on top. That's so important. Um, you know, if you've got like a, I don't know, a Princeton or something like that and you've got it really quiet and then you start adding pedals on and you're wondering why they're not sounding good, it's probably because your amp isn't working where it needs to be. The importance of volume, volume is tone. And that's what I've kind of found out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna dive into the pedal board. Um, I'm gonna show you, run you through the pedals and run you through my order of the pedals. Um, and yeah, the, there is one more pedal coming soon. Uh, from my friend over on Instagram, I've got a acid effects zoink coming. Um, for you guys who've been with me for a while, you'll know that how much, what I think of Doyle and Doyle's tone. This to me should be, <laughs> You know, I've reached the summit. I can relax and just play. <laughs> well, until something else comes out that's shiny. Uh, okay, this is Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks for being here. Let's look at the board. Peace. Make sure to subscribe. Woo. Okay, so this is the board. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the board. I'm going to run through the order, then we're going to look at the pedals itself, okay? So we have guitar signal comes in into fuzz. Fuzz then goes to wah, to vibe. 
Then from the vibe, we go over to an octave pedal. Then down to my echo, my flint, and out. If I'm feeling adventurous, I'll run from the flint out in stereo. Okay, and that's my order. So, fuzz, wah, vibe, cob clone, uh, echo, flint, and out. First always is fuzz for me because I like what a fuzz can do in terms of how much tone is at a fuzz. My fuzz will change pretty much daily. I'm between these two at the minute. Um, this is the silicone pair from BG Had, and this is incredible. I really do enjoy this fuzz. Um, it's like a kind of fuzz there and maybe more of a tone bender kind of tone on that side. Um, it's really, really cool, offers a lot. Um, and cleans up and has like that nice silicone bite as well. So if I'm looking for, you know, like a straight fuzz tone, this'll be it. This is uh, something very special. This is something that Steve has built me from Venus Witch. Um, we're gonna dive into this, I think. I'm just kind of ironing out a few kinks with Steve on it. But this this is amazing. This is probably my, my tone at the minute. Uh, this is a fuzz of sorts with a, with a few tricks going on that can get you a uh, really great tone. I don't wanna, don't wanna hang on that too much. <laughs> To the Venus Witch Wah. Uh, this is a giant killer. I've had this wah for ages and I'm not looking for a wah anymore since owning it. It's uh, it's incredible. It does everything I want to. It plays very well with other pedals. Um, works amazing with a fuzz. So yeah, from there then we go out to the Vibe. Uh, this again feels like my Vibe quest is finished. I've been through countless vibes and there's there's a lot of other good vibes on the market so I'm not shooting any down here by the way. Um, this is just the one for me. I actually enjoy running it like that um, through my normal tone because it, it kind of thickens up the tone and then if I'm going to run it as a vibe it's usually like that with no, uh, no more depth or intensity than that. <laughs> From there, we go straight out to my Cobb clone. This is from LSG. Um, I had this a long time ago, and it got a bit poorly, and I kind of put it away um, and missed it. But yeah, Steve over at Venus Witch has uh, been kind enough to fix that for me, and um, it's definitely going to be staying back on the board. I've tried loads of other Cobb clones, and they're usually too bright. This one has a warmer sound to it. Um, my good friend Tiago Franco uses one as well. Check him out, Franco Fuzz. Um, yeah, that's a great one. And then into this Echo. Echo's been one of those kind of pedals that I've never really bonded with until I got this one. Usually too bright, but this is perfect. It kind of sits in the mix. Um, and almost, you almost don't know it's there, but it's enough to add more depth. And then the flint. 
What can I say about the front? This is possibly the only pedal I've bought and kept for my entire pedal buying, moving on, um, saga. This, this, this has been with me forever, uh, and for good reason, because it's, they, they're incredible. Um, if I'm trying to play on my own or doing some desert stuff, that's, that's, the, that's the pedal I'll use. Uh, you can get forever notes of that stuff, it's just lush. Uh, on the 80s setting is my usual favorite, midday on the mix, decay will vary, and the color will vary. And, and that's kind of it in a nutshell, that's, that's the pedal board. For the amp, uh, my trusty 64 Vibroverb. Um, I play this a lot. This is going to be worked on soon again. This is the A1. Uh, this is an amazing amp, but that's a whole other uh, video. So yeah, this is my 64 Vibroverb, and I almost sold this a while back, and I'm so happy I didn't because um, this is going to be with me for life. This is an incredible, incredible amp. I, I just I can't get away from this tone now. Um, so reverb, I like reverbs quite high. Uh, bass is at six, treble is at eight, and volume is at six. Bright switch off. Uh, for a long time, I used to run the bright switch on, on everything, but I think as I'm getting older, I'm maturing more away from that brighter tone. Um, I'm liking the thicker stuff. I have done a mod here, which is very reversible, which means I can jump these channels, or I can just go in that channel, and that channel's now got reverb on it, um, which thickens up the tone again, which I do when I'm playing with a Strat, but when I'm playing with a humbucker guitar, there, there's no need. And as I was saying for volume, that's on number six, and the attenuator with a bonus plane was actually knocking off 12 dB on that one. with this Epiphone um, Epiphone ES339 and this has got the indigo paths in it which are just incredible as you heard in the video so let's hear some more tones mm -hmm. 